olabilir. Hey guys, welcome back to All and Law. This is a medical video lecture, orthopedics. And today we're gonna talk about a very important topic that's Galazia fracture. Galazia fracture or a dislocation, okay? So, in a previous video, we discussed about the Montagia fracture and dislocation. What are the types of fracture? What is the diagnosis, treatment, and the complications? Okay, and this is the what you call Galazia fracture. In this video, we're gonna talk about this, and this is what you call the counterpart of Montagia fracture or dislocation. Okay, in Montagia fracture, we know that it's due to the what you call a fracture of upper third of the alarm with the dislocation of the head of the radius, right? So here in this uh, type of fracture, you see the fracture of lower third of the radius. It's a lower. It's a lower third of radius with dislocation or a subluxation of distal radio. Ulnar joint. So if I have to draw and explain you, let me show you. These are the fingers, okay. Finger of a devil. And this is if this is radius and this is a fracture over here, okay. And dislocation of a radial ulnar joint over here. This is the dislocation, okay. Right, guys? So, fracture at this and dislocation at this, right? So, this is Galazia fracture or dislocation. So, right? So, what is the type of what you call injury that can cause this is what you call fall on an outstretched hand. As we know, the Montagia fracture is also due to the what you call the fall on an outstretched hand, but at the in there, in that, you should, what you call the, the, the hand should be what you call the forearm should be fully pronated. Okay, so what are the types of displacement over here? Is the radius fracture is angulated medially and anteriorly? Remember, the radius fracture is angulated medially and anteriorly. Okay, guys. And the distal radio ulnar joint is disrupted, okay, resulting in what you call dorsal dislocation of a distal end of the ulna, right? And how do you diagnose this? Diagnosis is what you call take an x ray, okay? Uh, if you understand what you call an isolated fracture of the distal half of the radius, the distal radio ulnar joint must carefully be evaluated for subluxation or dislocation. So, best is to take an x ray, then you can see the fracture, okay? What's the treatment for this? So, okay, remember the treatment regarding the Galazia fracture is what you call a perfect reduction is essential, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it's very near to the hand, so it has to be done very perfectly, okay? And it is difficult to achieve what you call a perfect uh, reduction and to maintain it by conservative methods, except in the children. Remember, this is really very important, okay? And uh, most patients require open reduction and fixation of the radius with a plate. Okay, guys, and uh, the dislocated radial large joint automatically falls back into its position once you reserve what you call treat, what you call uh, fix this fracture. Okay, and what are the complications? Uh, complications, as we know, in this this is this type of fractures, they are very unstable. So the common complication could be mall union. Okay, mall union. Right, and this can result in a deformity. Right, guys. So this is a brief idea regarding the Galazia fracture and the Montagia. Remember, Montagia fracture M for a M, Montagia for medial bone. That's the allies fracture. That is the upper third. Okay, and a G for Galazia fracture. Okay, that's uh, like remember grip. Okay, grip comes a hand near the hand, so radius is fractured. Right, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure. You got any information about the, this, uh, what you call, Galazia Fracture. Thank you so much. Please do not forget to subscribe to our 
videos and please do not forget to share our videos thank you so much take care